Hey, Funko Monsters, it's me, the Funko Monster. I'm pretty excited to do this review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Movies, the Warriors Pops. I am super excited. I avoided that wrong. I am super excited. This is an awesome movie, especially if you love 80s movies. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Uh, for, let's take a look at the boxes first so you can see the Warriors logo right there. Looking awesome as hell. Here's, this is Swan's box, obviously. And you can see, the, you know, the... The subway in the background there, and then there's a bit of the cover. One of the covers, there's a, there's a couple of covers, but this is one of them. So you can see some of the warriors there. Obviously, they did not make all of them. They only made five. Well, actually, five, uh, you know, plus one of them has like three variants. But uh, anyways, there's all the pops we're going to be taking a look at today, and there's something on this side. Anyways, let's take a look at the first pop, which is Swan. Now, I forget who played this guy, but I do have, well, actually, no, I, I bought the autograph of this guy for my best friend, Dom, Dominic George Kakis. Um, yeah, so, I mean, he showed me the movie, and that's why I love it so much. I actually own a poster of this movie, and I've always considered picking up a, a vest uh, of the Warriors, you know, the, the cut. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, this is such a good movie. Swan is a badass too, so let's take a look at Swan. Uh, you can see he definitely has that 80 hair, 80s hairstyle right here. It looks awesome. And yeah, look at that. And then you can see, you know, he's got the classic warrior's clothes. You know, you get the uh, buttons and everything. Get some paint apps there. On the back, you can see the warrior's logo, which looks awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, it looks really clean. Nice paint apps on that. Yeah, man, I really want to get myself a cut like this. It's, it's either, to me, it's either this or Sons of Anarchy. And I'm leaning a little more to a Sons of Anarchy just because I, I, you know, I like Sons of Anarchy a little bit better. So if I had to get a cut between the two, it would definitely be that. But uh, nothing going on at the bottom there. But you can see the baseball bat he has there. It looks awesome. He looks so badass. Anyways, that is Swan. Pretty excited to have that. Anyways, next up is Coaches. Coaches. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't get why they made this one. I don't know why they just didn't make maybe the leader. Like the, you know, the original leader. If you've seen the movie, you know, in the beginning what happens. Uh, but still, I mean, it's still a pretty good looking pop. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't mind if they made all of them, but... They're either pasty white guys or black guys wearing a, a, you know, a cut, and that's it. So, I can see why they didn't make all of them. You know, they didn't think they would, you know, make enough money. So, I, I, obviously, they did one, they did two races of the, within the Warriors. So, I mean, whatever, it's fine. At least we got it, right? You know, but anyways, let's take a, look, a closer look at Coaches. I, I don't know how to say this name. Coaches? I don't know. Anyways, there is uh, this guy. I don't know. You can see the bandana there. He has the nicely painted on um, bandana logos, which looks good. The hair looks good as well. Nicely sculpted. You can see some feathers and stuff, which looks great. Nicely sculpted. He's got a baseball bat as well. I, I don't think I would have given him a baseball bat. I think I would have given him nothing. You know, just have him alone. Um... Just so you don't get repetitive, but it's fine. At least this is it's in a different pose. But uh, a lot of new sculpted detail. More it has well not new, but it has a lot more sculpted detail. You can see, you know, he's got a little belt buckle in there. He's wearing kind of like some more feathers and you know like a, a Native American necklace. Kind of looks like underneath there. Yeah, man, that looks good. I like the shoes he's wearing. Nicely sculpted and painted right there. See some black laces on the side. Looks great. And then here's the lo the uh, Warriors logo one one more time. You can see this a little better because uh, Swan's hair is long. But yeah, man, look at that. It looks awesome. Yeah, I really like this pop. But yeah, there is Coaches. Anyways, next up we have what's his name? Luthor. Luthor. Kind of looks like. Joe Quinn Phoenix. You know, he's got the bottles. Warriors come out to play. I don't know, I can't, I can't do that. But that is honestly one of the best scenes ever made. You know, it's so good. 
And, you know, the movie's weird. Like, they, they have to run to Coney Island. Because they're in New York City. They have to run to Coney Island. And they think they'll be safe when they get that. You know, it's not a perfect movie. Alright, uh, well, I'll definitely say that. But it is a fantastic, fantastical. I, I can't even say it. That's how good it is. But, yeah, you got Luther here with his bottles. About to start seeing Warriors. Come out to play. Uh, but, yeah, man, you can see... You know, it's got the headband on there. It looks good. The hair is very 80s-like. You can see the, the... The, the you know, the group that he's in. On the back there, like, the, his gang. I can't really... The, uh, rogues. The rogues. So, you, you can see that cut right there. kind of looks like a Day of the Dead logo right there, but... Yeah, he's got the three bottles. You can see, you know, it's got a little badge on there. And, like, you know, zippers sculpted in there and painted. Looks good. I, I love this pop. I think this pop's awesome. Although he was sitting in a car when he was doing that, but still, it, I, mean, I actually wouldn't mind getting a pop ride of that car because that car looked pretty cool too. But, yeah, man. Not a bad looking pop at all. Definitely, definitely awesome. Anyways, I don't even know where to put them. Let's put them right here. Last up, we have. I, don't, I honestly don't know why they made this, but. We have the Punk's Leader. Uh, now, obviously, this the first time you see him is in the subway. So, I... He wasn't in the movie very much, so I really don't understand... Like, he didn't talk that much either, so I really don't understand why they made this uh, into a pop. I, I would have been just happy with another warrior... Oh, shit, yeah, he can't stand well because he's on rollerblades. Um, I would have been perfectly happy with... Um, Another Warriors character. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, maybe the, the girl. I forget her name. Uh, I may, I, literally anyone else. I, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man. I mean, this guy looks okay, I guess. So, you can see the hair. Again, very 80s-like. These pops are, like... They're very... Uh, I don't know. Sorry. It's, it's, they definitely made a lot of 80, 80s pop back in 2019. But... Uh, yeah, like Lost Boys, um, I don't think, um, I don't know, Lost Boys is the only one I can think of. Anyways, you can see he is very dirty looking, he's got the, um, oh, fuck, I forget what this is called. Shit. Yeah, he's got this piece of clothing, I forget what it's called, uh, overalls, there we go. Yeah, he's got these overalls here, nice buttons on the overalls, and very dirty looking. I like that he has the paint on his shoulders. I believe that's accurate. He's got more dirt on the back. The rollerblades look pretty cool. It would have been cool if the rollerblades were colorful. I don't think they were, but they, sh they should have made it colorful for the pop to be, you know. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, this is this is a pretty decent looking pop. You know, you look at it, you'd be like, where the fuck's that from? Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you look at the other three... Even four, like, if you count the exclusive uh, Baseball Fury, like, you look at those, you're more likely to think, if you've seen the movie, oh, yeah, Warriors. But this is, like, this is a deep cut into the movie, so I, I, I don't understand it too much. But who directed that movie? I feel like it was someone I knew. Anyways, someone I know. Jesus. I, I, don't, I don't know anyone in Hollywood. But anyways, yep, yeah, that's it. That, this is my first set review in a long time. I haven't done one in months. I can't even remember the last one I did, but um, yeah, man, it's it's good to go back to my roots. You know, I made I don't even know how many set reviews. Too many. Too no, not too many. Too little. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I like all these pops. I'm definitely hunting down that baseball glory. Uh, no fury. Sorry, uh, I'm still debating. Oh yeah, the rollerblade guy wants to fall over. Um, I'm, de I'm debating which one I want. There's red, green, and blue. I really like the blue, but he is the most expensive, so I may go for the red. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Warriors moment? Mine is obviously... Warriors come out to play. I also like the fight scenes between, you know, the Warriors and the... Baseball Furies. I think that was a pretty cool scene. Anyways... Uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you leave a comment and uh, subscribe to see a lot more content. I have two new DC Funko Pop reviews coming out 
uh, soon. So make sure you subscribe to see those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.